Hey everybody, uh, Brad Havemeyer, a Hollywood acting coach. I get a lot of questions these days on how to audition for uh, a role where it's a two-person scene. Now normally it's not a problem if uh, you have another actor with you to do the scene, but uh, you may have a situation where uh, you have no one to read with, uh, there's a quick turnaround for the audition, you might have uh, some relationship problems, or maybe through no fault of your own, you have a body odor issue or something that others find repellent and they don't want to read with you. But any, in any case, not a problem. I'm going to show you a technique by and through which you can conduct the audition believably connect with the characters, connect with the scene, and most importantly, book that job. Casting people in general will have a difficult time imagining another person. So if I were to just speak to someone next to me, hey, Charlie, how you doing? There's nobody there, you see? I'm speaking to an empty area here and casting people and producers, they'll, they'll be confused and they'll think, why, who is that person speaking with? There's no one there. Are they perhaps insane? Are they imagining someone is there? Are they delusional in some way? Ah, uh, I don't want to hire them. They're delusional. They're speaking to someone who's not there. I'm going to give you a great, great way to solve this problem. You're going to use an image of another person in order to fill in the other character in the scene. Hold on. Out of uh, household materials, you can make a face. Now see, take a look at the face here. I've made a face. It's a generic face. And I will be using this face in the scene while I do the scene. And again, I know the face is not a real human face, but very quickly, because you have something there for the casting people, the producers, to look at, they're going to quickly buy into your world and accept this image as a real person. Okay? All right. So I'm going to do a little scene here. It's a uh, scene from a working class drama. Two characters in it. One character uh, is described as overbearing, aggressively impatient. He is the foreman. His name is Frank. And he is speaking to his subordinate, who in the script is only described as dim-witted. So I'm going to do a couple things with this scene. And I want you to watch what I do. <clears throat> Billy. Billy, where's the invoice? I don't know where the invoice is. But... What do you mean you don't know where the invoice is? What's an invoice? Okay, now, you see what I'm doing here. I have the image, right? So they're buying that there's another person in the scene. And then in order to heighten the believability of the other character, I'm covering my mouth. You see what I'm doing? Covering my mouth. So they don't see my lips moving. Look how stupid this scene would look if I'm just doing it. Billy, where's the invoice? Duh, I don't know where the invoice is. Come on. You're going to book a job like that? Come on. All right. So uh, there you have it. You're able to create a scene partner. That will work for your audition. And uh, all the best to you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.